Hi and welcome back to Hair with Holly. Today I'm going to show you how to do finger waves. So really 1920s, Great Gatsby style look. So dramatic and so fabulous. So start your look with quite a deep side parting. So we've done quite a dramatic one here. So you'd want to use kind of the last part of the eyebrow as a guide for this parting. So it gives it a real 20s vibe. Section off the hair. Again, just at the crown of the head, kind of halfway. So you've got using your ear as a guide. And then take the top section of hair. So you're looking at about, about a two inch section. And this is what's going to form our finger waves. So prep your hair with a little bit of hairspray and comb it through. You want quite a set finish because originally this look was done on kind of wet hair that would be prepped with gel or something, but this is kind of a cheese guide. So section up again into, we're going to start from the back on this, about a one inch section. So the curling iron I'm using for this is quite a slim barreled wand. So I'm going to wrap the hair around the wand, starting at the top and going all the way down the end. So hold it there for a couple of seconds and you're going to want to make sure that you can feel the heat coming through the other side of the hair because this is quite a set look. So then take out your wand and you should be left with a really tight spiraled curl. So just to set the curl what I'm going to do, I'm going to pin this in place just using a bobby pin or a clamp. There we go, I'm going to leave that to cool. So just going on to the next section, again probably about an inch and a half, just in a range a bit wider than your finger. Grab your wand and it's really important to get the curl starting from as close to the crown as possible because you want to get that wave right at, the, right at the root of the hair. Hold it in place for about 15 seconds and then pin it even cool. Okay. Once you have the whole hair curled, you want to leave it cool for maybe about 10 minutes just to ensure the curl sets. Just gently pull out any grips that you have that have held the curls in place. So, as you can see, you should have really spirally curls. So I've taken out all the pins. I'm just going to start breaking up the curls with my fingers. So you get, <laughs> so you, you get a really tight kind of corkscrew curl. So don't worry, this will turn into waves. It'll just take, take a little bit of manipulation. So brush through all the curls, breaking them up with your fingers first and then we're going to start shaping them. So once you've broken up the curls, we're going to start brushing it out. So I'm just using a paddle brush for this, so you can use any kind of normal hair brush. And just gently brush the curl out. So just give it a little bit of a help, give it a bit of a hand when you're brushing out. So I'm going to start brushing the hair into an S shape to get that kind of Marcel wave effect. So kind of brush in a C, and then hold the hair, and then brush in another C. So you're kind of going like an S shape all the way down the hair. Don't worry if it looks very fluffy, it will eventually turn into a wave. You just have to brush it loads first. Yeah. So you can kind of see that S starting to form now. So keep brushing. I'm using a bristle brush here, which helps to kind of control the hair a bit more. So continue brushing all around the head, working in that C and C, so you kind of get an S wave all the way around. So the hair will do most of the work for you. You just need to give it a little bit of a hand. It does help when you're brushing the hair to pin it in place so you can follow, you have a guide to follow the waves. So you can use flat pins, I'm just using some bobby pins here. And just pin your wave in place. So just keep going, joining up your ways as you go. Be patient, it does, it takes a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end. To get that real 20s look, I'm going to pin up any longer sections at the back so you get a real bobbed effect. So this is a good idea if you have long hair to kind of pop it in, just tuck it under to make a kind of fake bob so you get a real great Gatsby effect. So I'm going to back home it slightly, just so it disappears. And you get to see the nape of the neck. So 
So just take out any pins that you have holding your style in place. So you're left with a real waved kind of bell epoque look. It's beautiful. Because this is quite a wet look, you can use a lot of hairspray to get that real lacquered effect. So there you have it, how to do fabulous 20s finger waves. A little bit of effort, but definitely worth it. Don't forget to tune in next week where I will be doing hair talking. So hot right now. See you then.